He's really started to transfer that on the field where it's like certain players like wow, like he's starting to read that. His his, his mind is starting to match his, his physical capabilities. Like he's, he makes a play that's like wow, like that was really fast. Like he read that very quickly. Did I, did I hear right with the workouts that? Yeah, no, Jake, Jake's definitely a high energy guy in the weight room. Uh, always asking to get slapped, slapping other guys before heavy lifts. So, no, he's definitely a, a great energy guy in the weight room for sure. Coach Trussell mentioned yeah. that uh, the kind of first few days you've got to kind of consult just team essentially. Just, what's that been like as a player? Just uh, kind of learning the yeah. system? Um, you know, I, we were fortunate to have those days in. Uh, in um, uh, off-season workouts, where we could kind of get that that head start on the on the playbook. So now it's like we already had familiarity with it when we started installing the spring ball. So it's kind of just been reviewed, which has been good. How would you describe Mike Trussell as yeah. your position coach as the defensive coordinator? Um, I would say he's intense. Like I would say it's a common theme with the whole coaching staff. Um, you know, he's he's intense. He's urgent. He's like flies around the field. Uh, um, you know, he's he's not afraid to yell at you, but he's, but we understand that like he's just yelling at us because he's trying to get us better, and he wants to see us respond to that. He doesn't want to see our confidence get shaken by him, you know, getting after us. So. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I think um, with the dollar and personnel and and. Uh, Specific, I think that's a great defense stop. The RPLs are just kind of a common part of the game in today's game. Um, but yeah, I think at when he came in, he was kind of thinking like, you know, stick with what we did that works, and then the transfer they did from Cincinnati that they were successful. So I think we're seeing that match together well. The stars are great. I think it's hard job. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know if I'd say it. Yeah, like Coach Leonard obviously is a great coach, great coordinator, but Coach Dress has had his own own success, and now he just wants to bring that uh, here as well. So pressure, I don't know, but you know, he, I think he's just got to be him and do what he's done to be successful here. Just watching practice, it's 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 a lot more high tempo or up tempo, I should say. Just, uh, just. What's that difference been like going through it? It's because it's, I, I turned away once yeah. and there's another play happening. I'm like, yeah, for sure. I mean, as a player, you, you definitely get a little more fatigued, but it's good because that's, as a player, I personally like to be conditioned in practice and not feel like I have to run after because uh, that's you're also like conditioning your mind when you're yeah. when you're very fatigued, like physically. Then you gotta lock back in and make sure you're still making your calls even when you're, you're dead tired. So it's been a little bit of an adjustment. I know last year when you guys played Washington State, I don't know if it's surprising would be the right word, but it looked like you guys had to adjust to your tempo. Just would you agree or would you say that like going through this in practice is going to help if you do play something like that again? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think I think the goal behind the high tempo practice is to make it easier in the game. So when when we play a game, it feels like it's like wow, this is like I just have a play. Like now I get to come line back up. Like it feels easy. And then when we have those high tempo teams, like we're ready for it. Hey, on the energy, yeah. have you been able to dictate like a new sense of energy, not only on the field with the way you guys practice, but with the coaching staff as well? Yeah, I mean, I think everyone has a new sense of energy just because uh, it, it's a new setting for the coaches, and then it's us with the new staff trying to prove ourselves to them. So I think everyone's just trying to build that trust, build that um, toughness as a team, and stuff like that, yeah. And the top four guys, yeah. all of you guys all have competing, but... How have you guys all made each other better, kind of growing together in the linebacker room last year, the year before, and now this year as well? Yeah, I mean, I, I would say just the, the competition aspect of it. Um, you know, last last year we were filling the roles or filling the spots of Leo and Jack, who are very successful linebackers, and we, as a room, like wanted to, you know, uphold that standard of success that we've had, and that's that's still our goal as a room. Like we. Like we're, we're no matter who's at the ones, who's at the twos. Like we're still all that really matters is that we're up holding the standard. Of the room. So that's kind of our our motivation. And talking about the new defense, yeah. what's kind of been some of the schematic differences for the linebackers and you personally that maybe have been a little more challenging or something uh, harder to grasp? Right. I mean, it, it 
really just depends on the personnel group. So I would say like our, our dollar personnel is a new personnel group that we haven't really worked on yet, or we haven't had in the past. I think we did maybe when we played Washington State last year, just because they're of their offensive scheme. So that's just been, you know, a defense that's been hard to compare to what we ran in the past. Um, whereas like most of the stuff that we were, we were installing is like, okay, this is a lot like this play that we ran with Chris Leonard and this is like, you can compare and stuff, but the, the dollar is a little newer. And on the on the new looks, yeah. some two, three, six personnel, it's been a little lighter inside the box. How does it put more of an emphasis on gap filling, but also kind of being disciplined and how are you guys looking to improve that? Yeah, I mean, I think you just have to understand your role in the run fits and um, you know, trust what you see. Like, can't hesitate as much. You gotta be physical and fast. What's Trestle done to kind of uh, instill that guy's uh, instill kind of that part in you guys? Um, I think just through through meetings and through walkthroughs. I mean, I think that's kind of when you when you build the confidence, and then you know you see it full speed on the field. Maybe the first rep you're not as quick, but then the next rep it's like, all right, I know I can anticipate this. So.